talking about positive affirmation. I was explaining you the concept of negative thoughts as worms. And if you have a negative thought in mind, that is like a worm inside. And this worm lives on your time. So the food it eats is your time. And the more the negative thoughts, the more the time you need it in isolation and the more negative it grows. So if you need to kill this worm of negative thoughts, what should you be doing? How can you kill this worm? The only way you can kill him is to starve him to death. How would you starve him to death? By not feeding him what it likes to eat. What does it like to eat? It likes to eat your time. So if you will not give your time to this worm, this worm for sure die off. So please, if the negative thoughts are plenty, if they are troubling you a lot, please make sure that you ensure that you don't feed this worm the negative thoughts. Is this clear to you all? So now what is affirmation? Affirmations are positive statements which you tell to yourself and you and you alone believe in it from the bottom of your heart. What may happen? There might be hundreds in your life who may tell you that you are no good, you are bad. Don't listen to the negative statements coming from the people around you because it is up to you. You attach the meaning to it. Nobody can make you feel inferior without your own consent. Unless you allow them, whoever they are, it may be your most precious person, but don't accept the negative things coming from them and upsetting you. Because if you use the power of affirmations, say for example, you're very fearful. Fearful of lizards, fearful of darkness, fearful of a cockroach. What should you be doing? you get really panicked. You're phobic with these insects around you. How can you deal with it? The simple and the easiest way is to use courage. How would you get the courage? Because fear is so strong. When the fear comes to the front seat, then courage disappears, it runs out. But the fact is only positive affirmations can help you. You need to keep telling, I am fearless. I am strong. I can deal with it. And if you give these positive messages to your mind, believe it, it starts trusting it. You are not the prisoner of your thoughts, but actually you are the master of your thoughts. You can create any thought which you choose to create positive thoughts. Enjoy the benefits of it. Make your life a revolutionary change because it is right in you. When you have that power, use it before you lose it. Because if you don't use it, it will disappear by itself and you would be at the mercy of your surroundings. Nobody God make as handicap because the handicap is in your mind. Your physical conditions have nothing to do with it. If you trust Change your thoughts, enjoy the miracles, enjoy it and have powerful life. Understand the power of affirmations. Affirmations work the best early mornings and just before you hit the bed, before you go to sleep. Because that is the time when your conscious self is retiring and your subconscious self is actually taking over. So use the power of affirmations and enjoy positivity in your life. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, we have a question. What all things can we use affirmation for? You can use affirmations for any negative thing happening with you. It can be your fear, your phobias, your negative thoughts where you condemn yourself, the people who are the biggest critics of their own selves. They keep saying, oh, I'm no good in this thing. I'm no good at that. If these kind of voices are coming from within and if they're very strong, that means that you've fed 
that worm inside you a lot of time and that worm is so fat so now to kill this worm you need a lot of time because it is a fat worm it will not go that easy so you will stop feeding it time you will start investing time in positive affirmations early morning before sleeping these two timings are the best give yourself the positive messages and enjoy the impact of it it can bring you out from any negative thought of life wish you powerful life thank you so much ma'am uh, we have a question from mr joy uh, what to say to employees to motivate them can we use affirmations what to say to employees oh employees of course employees are like any human being affirmations will not only work on human beings it even work on pets if you have a plants and the pets at home try positive affirmations and see the difference uh, there have been experiments where affirmations are given to the plants the plant which did not receive it died off the one who received regular affirmations grew up very very healthy the same stand for pets employees a human beings on any human being affirmations will do miracles use affirmations and let them sail through this negative life which is because of the covid-19 pandemic people now are getting to know that their known people are hit by corona and it is bringing a lot of worry and anxieties affirmations will do miracles try it enjoy it. thank you ma'am uh ma'am miss benita wants to know can you make affirmations on behalf of other people oh yes of course yes you can because if somebody is not able to make affirmations doesn't really know how to do it the best is google auntie just go and google search and you will have plenty of affirmations you name the area for which you want it and it will give you the ready made affirmations but if suppose somebody is really incompetent of doing it you can help it you can write it down for them and they need to say it to themselves regularly and if you are that significant person in the life of that human being whoever this mr a or miss a is it will work because the statements coming from our loved ones make a lot of difference so if you are a cautious human being benita you can help that person in your life who is now becoming very anxious and worried thank you ma'am i hope benita uses this and helps the other person um uh, we have a question from mr stephen he wants to know some examples of any kind of approach. like as i said that if you're going through fear your phobic of cockroaches lizards and all and you really the moment you look at that it's crawling insect you become very nervous and the courage just disappears from the scene you start palpitating you start sweating you start feeling nervous you can't even look at that little creature there what should you be doing let that it it the process is called systematic desensitization let that creature be out of your life first you give yourself positive affirmations in the absence of that creature saying that i am not fear i am fearless i'm very confident i can deal with anything in my life i am courageous all these positive statements will build your esteem but not only that then you can bring a, a insect a rubber insect at a distance and when you start having these feelings and palpitations you keep giving yourself positive affirmations and slowly slowly you start bringing the distance less and you will see that your palpitations will stop so the moment your palpitations settle down at a distance seeing that creature then what you do you reduce the distance start giving palp- uh, start giving positive affirmations more and more and you would be amazed that even you can go close to the thing and touch it but that is all your belief system if you do that you will enjoy very powerful results thank you ma'am uh mr john wants to know how to make powerful affirmations 
powerful affirmation is such a powerful positive sentences sit down with a notebook and write it down so whatever troubles you in your mind say for example it's a fear of darkness you will write i can move alone in a dark room i can be very comfortable in a dark room so powerful statements are talking about your courage your confidence let me tell you over here that your confidence is actually the it is the father of your achievements so you will only achieve it if you are confident confidence come from the courage is the mother of confidence so when you are courageous automatically the confidence starts coming in so any positive statement depending upon the situation i would suggest that you google search list of affirmations on the areas you are interested in and you would be surprised that how easy it is to formulate the affirmations thank you ma'am thank you very much ma'am we'll take one last question before we go uh mr raj wants to know whether positive thought infusion and affirmations are same or different positive thought affirmations are nothing but the positive thoughts which are inbuilt into your system so positive thoughts are positive affirmations but the thing is it is created by you consciously for the area where you see your weaknesses so positive affirmations are those positive thoughts those positive statements which actually bring in positive results in life thank you ma'am thank you very much thanks a lot so we will meet again on sunday 5 pm yes on sunday at 5 pm at the same hour thank you very much have a wonderful weekend see you everyone see you ma'am bye 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 bye